This program is brought to you by Cable Franchise Vs and generous donations from viewers like you. Um, seeing a presence of a quorum, I'm calling to order this meeting of the Amherst School Committee at 6.03 p.m. on Tuesday, June 16th. Um, we are being live streamed on Amherst Media Channel 15. Thank you to Amherst Media. Um, and this is being recorded. Um, so we have minutes to approve from um, May 26th, and those minutes were in our packet. Are there any, uh, Mr. Demling? These look very familiar, and that's because this was a joint meeting, correct? I'm not just I'm not just having deja vu. Is that, is that okay? Oh, we didn't do our check-in, Allison. Pardon me. We didn't do oh, our check-in. Yes. Okay. Um. And and it's good timing. I'm glad I forgot. Um, because now have, now Ms. Lord is here. So um, uh, we will take uh, um, attendance or uh, who's present. Um, and if you can uh, uh, respond with present when I call your name, uh, Mr. Demling. Demling present. Ms. Spitzer. Spitzer present. Mr. Harrington. Harrington present. Ms. Lord. Lord present. And McDonald present. And also um, in the room, we have uh, Dr. Morris and uh, Ms. Uh, Sharkas, who is uh, our uh, note taker. So are there any comments um, other than uh, just calling to attention that this is um, was a joint meeting? And, and I do wonder if maybe we should call that out at the top of that agenda item, just um, so that it's clear why we're listing um, other the members from the region. Mr. Harrington? Yeah, just a spelling correction. Um, there was, um, there's Mr. Harrington, it says uh, Susan Kennedy Marks, it's M A R X. That was all. Okay. Any other comments? Okay. Seeing none, um, then we'll move on to our next item, which is a uh, public comment. Oh, uh, Mr. Demling. I don't think, did we move to approve them? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm racing because I'm so eager to, to like have this be the shortest meeting. <laughs> um, uh, do we have a motion? Would you like to make a motion, Mr. Demling? Yeah, uh, Cielo has her hand up. Um, so, did you approve the minutes of um, May 19th? Because I have those as well if you uh, want me to send them to you for the next meeting. Uh, Dr. Morris? Yeah, I'm not so sure this was a joint meeting, looking at the minutes. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see much on the agenda that was really anything on the agenda that was um let me see i just want to make sure that that you're being asked to approve the right minutes uh and maybe i'm wrong i just want to be overly cautious about it but um i'm just looking down you I mean, all that is region it was, we had a, that was the evening that we had an Amherst school committee meeting at six o'clock and a region uh, joint, a region at 6.30. So, right. And so these ones look like the 6.30 variety. Um, I'm just wondering if, if, if maybe we table this until uh, just in Miss McDonald's spirit of getting efficiency uh we could table it and, and maybe Ms. Sharkis's point about 
the May 19th minutes. And we can sort that out before the next meeting or before the next AMR school committee meeting. That I, I think that sounds good because I think you're correct. Um, we I don't think believe that we've approved the May 19th meeting uh, meeting minutes, um, but we can all double check that. Mr. Demling, you had a comment? Yeah, I was just going to say that as you were talking, I looked at the records and Dr. Morris is correct. It was a it was a back to back where we had Amherst first and then region, not technically a joint. And so these wouldn't be something we would need to approve. Great. My apologies for that. So we will not make, we will not move to approve these today. We'll circle back and um, review them again uh, at our next meeting. Um, okay. Moving on now to public comment. Um, we did not receive any public comment today, um, uh, not by 3 p.m. and actually not even by 5.30 p.m. today. So. Um, as always, we uh, accept any public input and comment um, at school committee at arps.org and then on days of meetings, um, email us with a public comment in the subject line by 3 p.m. to McDonald's, McDonald A at arps.org. Are there any announcements or comments from the committee? I'm seeing none. So we'll move on to our new and continuing business. And our first uh, item is our school building committee representative. Um, we, um, as I, I think all of us are aware, we have an elementary school building project um, on our plates and we are, the town is appointing the committee, the elementary school building committee. The charge for that committee was included in your packets. I also had emailed that separately. Um, and this, we need to appoint um, one school committee member to be our representative on that committee. Dr. Morris. Yeah, so the charges in the packet, just, um, you know, just to share in more generally, the, uh, the uh, thought is that the group would meet uh, in the mornings. Um, so many of other commitments in terms of other elected officials, yourselves included, have a lot of afternoon and evening commitments. So the thought was to do that. And for some families, that's actually much more advantageous. We found that the afternoon meetings were a barrier for um, other folks and you're never going to get a perfect time. But I just do want to note that it's kind of like at least monthly meetings and um, the intent is to be before work. Certainly if we're still in the world we're in now, the first meetings will start um, in a virtual context and um, the, by the end of this month, uh, actually for MSVA regulations, um, the committee needs to be appointed. So that's why uh, it's on the agenda for tonight is that I can communicate that to the town manager um, so that he can make sure that goes through the appointment process at the town side. That was it. And I don't see in the charge when when those meetings will actually begin. Do we do we have that yet, or is that not defined yet? I don't think it's defined yet. I mean, the the reality is the committee really starts getting going once they're looking for an owner project manager. Uh, the first couple of tasks, you know, some have already been done by town staff. Um, you know, there's some enrollment studies which can be really complicated to do right now, uh, given that our enrollments, everyone's enrollment such in flux, and I've already communicated that to MSBA. Um, but I, I do think the group probably will want to get together at least to appoint a chair and get some structures in place um, in the not so distant future. Um, but that's probably as specific as I can get right now. Mm -hmm. Great. Any, any thoughts or um, questions or volunteers from the committee? You know, I always volunteer. But I also know I might not have well yeah. Yes. If um if somebody else I'm looking at you doesn't want to volunteer who might have more um experience with buildings. But I'm happy to be the committee member that volunteers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lard.
I sort of understood that as a as a quasi nomination of an, of an individual. Um, I didn't say that. Okay. Because I, I saw the public form and I didn't know if I should apply that way or, um, yeah, in general. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Demling. I mean, if he's amenable to it, I'd be more than happy to make it a non quasi nomination of. Uh, of Mr. Harrington, but um, given your facilities background, I think you'd be awesome on it. But uh, and it, it's obviously a massive time commitment, so I don't want to force somebody into that position. Yeah, yeah, I'll accept that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can definitely work it in timing wise. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I didn't thank you for for accepting and I but I and I didn't want to pressure you by by echoing the sentiments that the others have said that I I think you would actually be a really great um, asset to that committee um, with your with your feet in many in many places within the district so um, particularly in the facilities um, expertise I think that would be really really helpful so um, if you are open to that um, we really appreciate that. I'm absolutely open. Fabulous. Okay. Do we need a motion? Or? Yes. So, um, I move to appoint that the committee appoint um, Mr. Ben Harrington to the Elementary School Building Committee. I second. second. Um, moved by Spitzer, seconded by McDonald. And we'll do roll call vote. Mr. Demling? Demling, aye. Ms. Lord? Lord, aye. Mr. Harrington? Harrington, aye. Ms. Spitzer? Spitzer, aye. And McDonald, aye. Congratulations. <laughs> and thank you. Wholehearted thanks. Um, Mr. Demling? Yeah, yeah, that's all I was going to say. You know, I, I'm sure we all share the same sentiment. This is there's a lot of places where we can sink our teeth into and have endless hours of commitment and volunteerism on the school committee and this is definitely one of those lanes and i, I mean i really appreciate your your taking this on so is there anything we can do to support you as the as the years go by please do let us know why well, absolutely will. <laughs> great okay so Moving right along, um, our next um, item is the superintendent evaluation instrument and the PDF of that was included in our packets. Um, so I'm not sure if folks had a chance to review that, but um, I'll let Ms. Spitzer, if you'd like to introduce this. Sure. So, um, as you know, one of our primary goals or, or primary charges as um, school committee members is to evaluate the superintendent annually on the goals that we voted on. Um, so this is based on those goals. Um, and I worked with, I want to just thank you, say a big thank you to the administrative team of Sasha uh, Figueroa and Debbie Westmoreland for helping to, to put together this instrument because it's clearly a lot of work. Um, but so each goal kind of goes corresponds to an item on the DESE rubric and those are all presented here. Um, if you have any edits or ca caught any um, typos or anything, please, you know, let us know and we can edit. But um, we already went over this on the region, um, with another committee that we're members of. So I, hopefully the, this isn't um, brand new to anybody and you did have it in your packet. So let me know if you have any questions. But. Any questions? Let's see. Great. And I, I um, believe we do need to um, approve this with a vote as well. Mr. Demling? I move to approve the superintendent evaluation instrument as presented. Lord second. Moved by Demling, seconded by Lord. And a roll call vote. Um, Ms. Lord? Lord, aye. Mr. Harrington? Harrington, aye. Ms. Spitzer? Spitzer, aye. Mr. Demling? Demling, aye. And McDonald, aye. 
uh, the motion passes uh, unanimously 5-0. Okay. Next, we have warrants report, and this is where we'll come to a screeching halt while I pull up the documents. <laughs> okay. So we have um, a uh, signed three warrants um, uh, just today, actually. So I um, have three separate statements. And um, so I, Alison McDonald, authorized by my signature to payables in the amount of $54,319.72 for a warrant dated June 12th, 2020. This includes general fund expenses of $48,466.98 revolving fund expenses of $26.97 and grant fund expenses of $5,825.77. And that was signed by me today. Um, second one is um, I, Alison McDonald, authorized by my signature to payables in the amount of $34,935.67 for a warrant dated June 8th, 2020. This includes general fund expenses of $31,419.17, sorry, $31, revolving fund expenses of $1,159.43, and grant fund expenses of $2,057.07, and a gift to the school of $300. And last, I, Allison McDonald, authorized by my signature to payables in the amount of $54,319.72. Is this the same one I just read? I think it is. Um, okay, so there were three, but they look identical. Um, should I read it? I'll read it anyway. I apologize if it's identical, but it's um, a separate document. $54,319.72 for a warrant dated June 12th. This includes general fund expenses of $48,466.98, revolving fund expenses of $26.97, and grant fund expenses of $5,825.77. Signed by me uh, today, June 16th. Any questions? I'm just double checking that the that I didn't miss one by accident here. Okay. Great. Okay. That is, that is all of them. Any questions? No. Okay. And moving on, uh, agenda planning. Um, our next, I, I don't believe we have another meeting single meeting of just the Amherst School Committee on the calendar. We have, we'll be at our, we will have another joint meeting um, next Thursday um, with the region and Pelham School Committees for a continuation of our fall planning conversations. Um, I do wonder if um, Perhaps since we have a backlog of uh, minutes to approve, if we might want to take 15 minutes or 30 minutes before the region, that joint meeting to approve minutes or schedule um, another meeting later. We do need to also um, plan for our artifacts presentation from the superintendent. Any thoughts from the committee on timing those or setting up a, a separate meeting just for the um, Amherst School Committee that will include all of it, catch up on all of our minutes as well as the artifacts presentation? Does that? Ms. Spitzer? Selfishly, I would like to keep the 
meeting on the 25th shorter just because it's my son's birthday. Um, but if, whatever the committee needs to do, I'm, I'm happy to get behind that too. Mr. Harrington. Yeah, I would kind of ha rather have a, a separate cameras meeting, you know, for the presentation area. And, uh, right, we can roll the minutes into that. Yep. So I, I think, um, and we don't have to just, I don't know, um, Dr. Morris, if you've had any thoughts as to when you might be able to be ready for an artifacts presentation. I know we talked about it being a short, much shorter PowerPoint right. presentation. Um, and so I think that's really the key thing. And if you can't answer that now, we can sort of deal with that and, and sort of propose that at our next meeting. Yeah, I mean, I think what I would ask is that um, Ms. Spitzer perhaps and Ms. Hall or somebody from Pelham, if we could coordinate, not that they would be the same night about when, since they're separate presentations, are they gonna be connected? I, maybe even the three of us, Ms. Spitzer, Ms. Hall and myself could have a phone call to just coordinate all that. I'm not as stressed about the timeline as I am I'm about coordinating the different evaluations so that um, there's some rhyme or reason to it. Um, so uh, I don't know if, how you feel about that, Ms. Spitzer, but I think that might be a next step to, to do that. Ms. Spitzer? Um, so I'd be, I'd definitely be up for coordinating offline, but would you want to coordinate all three of the committees that you serve at the same time, or is it just the Pelham and the Amherst that you'd like to have occur? You seem time? like you've fallen into a role of doing this for both Amherst and region, Ms. Spitzer, so I was much like Ms. McDonald, I was including you in both of those, but uh, perhaps that was inappropriate. <laughs> I just want to confirm that you'd like to present all three on the, uh, potentially on the same evening if we can make that work. Right, and if it doesn't happen in the same evening, just at least that we're coordinating them and there's some re rhyme or reason to it, um, instead of being sort of randomized. Um, I, I don't think they need to be on the same evening. I think there's some advantage to it, but uh, I'm, I think just at least having a conversation and, and working out a draft schedule would be good. Sounds good. All right, thank you. I'll follow okay. up. So while we're still on the topic of agenda planning, um, and I don't know the history of it, but I think it, um, before we actually started the meeting, there was some mention about, did we think that this meeting started at 6.30 or at 6? Um, so I don't know the history of how we ended up that Amherst and Region, uh, the other committees meet at different times. Um, and maybe there's a, a, a logical explanation for that that um, that I'm not aware of, but maybe, um, but I wanted to just toss out the idea of, uh, you know, is there a benefit in um, coordinating our start time so that they're always the same time, whether it's at 6 or 6.30, so that when we do, <laughs> so that spacey people like me don't forget that it starts at 6 and not 6.30 on occasion. <laughs> um, I'll just put my, throw myself under the bus on that one. Um, any thoughts, Mr. Demling? Yeah, I wasn't here for the origin, but from what I've been told, it was uh, to accommodate um, uh, schedule availability when we used to do in-person meetings at the region, and that getting to the Amherst High School for 6.30 was more attainable consistently than six for some members. Um, obviously with virtual, that's a little different. Um, so I can't see any harm in sort of re-pinging uh, the region regional committee and seeing if if there's a, if, if there's a reason why we couldn't say do six. And just, just for my personal opinion, if we're gonna pick one or the other, I'd rather do six um, because if we're gonna have a two and a half or a three hour meeting, I'd rather have it be done at 8.30 and nine versus nine or 9.30, but that's just my two cents. Ms. Spitzer? I always found the opposite true. I mean, when we go back to working, um, it was a lot easier for me to make the 6.30 than the 6. So just putting out the, the opposite opinion. Yeah, yeah I, I personally, it, it was interesting, there were some times where I preferred the 6 because I would just go straight from the office to the meeting. Um, and other times I prefer the 6.30 because I have that opportunity to grab something to eat before before coming to a two hour meeting, <laughs> two and a half hour meeting. But um, do 
do we want to make this something that we try to consolidate and sort of coordinate start time so that it is consistent or do we want to stick with our 6 p.m for amherst and and um tackle tackle reach you know other start times i think so like we can make the decision about the amherst school committee meeting but time Not seeing a lot of passion either way. <laughs> Mr. Denley. I mean, I suppose we could poll. Like, <laughs> there is a ridiculous part of me that wants to make it 615, but I think that's just taking compromise a little too far. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel super strongly about 6 versus 630. So if there was one time that worked better for majority of people, I'm, I'm willing to make it consistent, but, you know, I'm not about as passionate as I'll get on the topic. <laughs> okay. Any other closing thoughts? So am I, will I like head nods to, to move our regular Amherst school committee meetings to 6.30 or stay at six? So first 6.30. and stay at six <laughs> okay great well uh seeing it, like seeing that uh we can't make of a decision we will stick with i mean we we can't come to uh an agreement we'll stick with 6 p.m for uh for the time being since that's what we've had mr Deming. i could i couldn't see everybody's face was or thumbs or whatever it was um, was I the only one saying six? I'm ha if it's majority is six thirty, I'm happy to go to six thirty. No, we had uh, it was you and Mr. Harrington at um, at six p.m. Ms. Okay. Spitzer and myself for six thirty, okay. and Ms. Lord likes both. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want you all holding it up just for a little old me. <laughs> I suppose we could also check in with uh, with um, Dr. Morris and and Ms. Charkas to understand if if there's if any one of those is easier or not easier for you so because we wouldn't want to land on a time that then makes it very difficult for either of you <laughs> CLO, is there something that you want to share in terms of the times um i like how mr Demling noted that since the meetings often run very late i would also prefer to have an early night so i'm more towards the 6 p.m as well great so unless uh, unless anybody has objections, I feel like that tips the scales and we'll stay with six. <laughs> this our Amherst school committee meetings tend to be the the shorter ones anyway, so it's uh, nice. Okay, great. Um, and moving on to our next item, we have accept gifts, and I think we have one gift for tonight. Would someone like to make a motion? Ms. Spitzer? I move to accept the following gift, a grant from the Amherst Education Foundation in support of greater library access, second of two payments for $3,477. Moved by Spitzer and I'll second that, seconded by McDonald. Any Further discussion or comments, questions? I'm not seeing any. So we'll um, proceed with a roll call vote. Ms. Lord? Lord, aye. Mr. Demling? Demling, aye. Ms. Spitzer? Spitzer, aye. Mr. Harrington? Harrington, abstain. And McDonald, I. The motion passes four zero one. I'll entertain another motion. Mr. Deming. I move to adjourn. Second. Moved by Demling, seconded by Spitzer. There's no discussion, so roll call vote. Mr. Harrington. Harrington, I. Ms. Spitzer. 
Spitzer, aye. Mr. Demling. Demling, aye. Ms. Lord. Lord, aye. Ms. Mc oh, <laughs> and McDonald, aye. <laughs> Motion passes. We are adjourned. <laughs>